the Apple M1 X chip. Apple's next upcoming flagship processor for its laptops, that's MacBook, and also a bunch of other devices that are going to be launching pretty soon now in like September or October. So today let's discuss about this upcoming Apple M1 X processor, what to expect and what are the latest developments in this processor. Hey guys, all about technology 24 into 7 here. If you like what you're watching, I would appreciate if you subscribe to the channel and turn on notifications so that you receive all the latest updates from my channel. Also like this video if you did. Let's now get started. Last year, Apple announced its all new Apple M1 chipset and it was the Apple Silicon processor, one of the most successful processor that was built on ARM architecture and this processor was a huge success I can say, yet there were a few drawbacks like lack of upgradability, expandable storage etc was not there in that, so that was the thing few people hated it. So this time, hopefully Apple should fix that with their upcoming M1 X processor by adding a few upgradability options as well. As of now, we don't have any major details about that, but it's rumored to have that. So today we see that the Apple M1 X processor, the upcoming chip from Apple, was appeared in the Eurasian Economic Commission filings, that is the EEC filings. The listing was first spotted by Consomac for two devices with model numbers A2442 and A2485. As you can see, there are a bunch of model numbers here, but those are from previous years as well. But these two devices, the A2442 and A2485 are pretty new here and these are likely going to be the all new Apple M1X based MacBooks from Apple that's going to be launching in September and pre-orders will start from October. It's pretty near now, this is August, a month more I can say, a month or a month half. So this will be followed by the all new Mac mini that will be launched by Apple and followed by the iMac and the Mac Pro next year I can say so it will be launching next year the Mac Pro and iMac whereas MacBook Pros and the Mac mini will be launched as early as September and pre-orders in October. So talking about other stuff those of you don't know regarding the specifications of the upcoming MacBook Pro the expected specifications are it will be having two display options, 14 inch and 16 inch. Both will feature a mini LED display this time. So not really sure how they are going to implement this, but it will be having mini LED displays as well. They are expected to feature a flat edge design and a MagSafe charging port and few other ports like the HDMI and the SD card slot reader and hopefully a Thunderbolt 3 port for external GPU support and that is like restricted to Intel processors only but yeah not really sure about that Apple might come up with something new from them that might enable external GPU support and if that's the case then it's going to be a huge success I can say. However, the M1 X processor graphics are considered to be one of the most powerful in the world when it will be launching and it will be neck and neck with some of the dedicated GPUs what the rumors suggest. So what do you guys think about this upcoming Apple MacBook Pro and the M1 X processor? Do let me know your thoughts in the comment section. So this was a quick little video talking about the latest developments in the Apple M1 X processor. So that's pretty much it for this video if you liked it. Please give it a big thumbs up and do subscribe to the channel for more videos like this. Also do follow me on Instagram, link is in the description or it's appearing somewhere on the display. This is all about technology 24 into 7. Signing off for the moment. You guys have a great day. Peace.